Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone love into this. Your mom in the fucking sand. Nothing is as exciting to people as watching a chomo get caught, and um, you are their worst nightmare. When they see you, it's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like, when you go, just have, just have a seat for me right there. So there was a case just a couple weeks ago uh -huh. um, down south, and a guy got caught by the police. It uh -huh. wasn't one of our stings. Yeah. And he was upset he got caught, understood that he was you know, committing a crime, but was relieved because it was just the police and not, and not me. <laughs> and he says it's in the, yeah. it's in the transcripts of the, the, uh, public the police report. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I can imagine that, of course, committing a crime and, and getting caught is terrible, right, when the police, but it's probably when you're like, oh, this can be broadcast yeah. on television. All over the world. Yeah. This and then rebroadcast yeah. on social media and YouTube it. and everything else. So because, like, I mean, it really caught fire, you know, like the, orig like the idea – you pitched it originally as a segment, like just like a one-off? Well, originally, yeah, I became aware of Perverted Justice, which was the online watchdog group. Um, they had a website, and they would have their decoys go in and just exist in a chat room. And if they were hit upon by an adult and the conversation grew graphic sexually, they would post that person's ID mm -hmm. on their website, and people could go to Perverted Justice and see it. And I thought, boy, if we could use their ability to be decoys online and combine it with our ability to wire a house with hidden cameras and microphones, it could be pretty compelling. And so yeah. we did it in Long Island, Beth Page, Long Island. And I was driving out there and I got caught in traffic on the Throgs Neck Bridge. And I thought, oh God, what happens if nobody shows up? You know, and I just wasted tens of thousands of dollars of the network's money. And with that, my producer calls and said, you know, where the hell are you? I've got two guys who are about to knock on the door in 45 minutes. So traffic clears, I haul ass over there and we get into position and, you know, we had security there. But in those first couple investigations, we didn't have law enforcement doing a parallel investigation. Mm -hmm. So the first guy shows up and I'm just trying to keep my heart in my chest. You know, I've confronted a lot of bad people over the years, but this is close quarters yeah you know i've got ronnie knights there my security guy and we've gone through it all and there's a protocol but the guy's right there i mean he's in the kitchen yeah with me Ugh. and i'm trying to concentrate and have the transcripts and so we get to the first guy and did he bring his um his um wine coolers six pack of wine there coolers there weren't a lot of things brought in the first couple oh. guys they ultimately did yeah. and the decoys would ask for that because oh, it right. shows intent, right? You know, and and the police um, use that in their cases. But you know, the first couple guys came through and got to the third guy, and I grabbed the wrong transcripts from the dining room table, and I said, it "says here, you want to do this, that, and the other thing with a thirteen-year-old named Beth." No, that's not me. Excuse me. Went back, got another transcript. <laughs> Second transcript was wrong. Finally, I got to the third stack of of uh, chats and I had the right one. He said, okay, great, we can continue. It's like, oh, I'm that person. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's, that's not the yeah. first two yeah, That is me. <laughs> <laughs> that's me, yeah. And uh, I just had a flat, because I remember watching an episode, I don't know how many years ago, where I believe you, a guy showed up, and I don't remember if he went to jail or whatever, but it was like the next day, somebody was like, meet me at McDonald's or something Oh like yeah, that. it was in our second investigation. <laughs> and again, it was before like, law enforcement was involved. I'll, I'll tell you this story. So, guy's name is John Kennelly. <laughs> wow. Okay. Right? His screen name wow. is Special Guy Twenty Nine. Okay. Oh, he really? was neither twenty nine nor that special. <laughs> uh -huh. We are in Herndon, Virginia. Yeah. Set up in a home of a retired FBI agent who I've known for years. Okay. We rented the house, did the whole thing, and it was active. I mean, this is right outside of Washington D.C. And we had a teacher, and we had. Um, a guy who was with the military. We had guys from all walks of life and this guy who walked into the house naked. <laughs> and the, the decoys have different profiles. So we right. have some that are very demure and have had no sexual contact with anybody. Then we have some who are a little more cheeky. And this yeah. person, this profile, decoy, said it'd be really hot if you came in naked. <laughs> so here comes John Connelly in his red pickup truck, walks into the garage, we had a camera set up. He starts to strip. And he strips down to his underwear. And he walks in carrying his clothes and a 12-pack of beer. Mm -hmm. And I'm in the back, 
in the next room with Ronnie Knight looking at this in the monitor saying, leave this? <laughs> God. And, and he walks out and, and the producers had put a, um, a blanket towel type thing on the top of the refrigerator. And I walked out and grabbed it and I said, here, wrap yourself up in this. And uh, that stool he sat on became a part of predator history and exists today. Really? <laughs> yeah, a friend of mine has it. And so you confronted him. I did. I said, you know, what are you doing here? Yeah. Because in the profile, he said first he was a teacher and then a school employee. It turned out he was a bus driver. But the fact that we thought he was a teacher yeah. all of a sudden, and now he's naked in our kitchen. And did he go to jail that day? No, because we didn't have the police, the police there. So he but, walks out, uh -huh. right? The next day, there's commotion in the room dedicated to the sure. online decoys. Sure. I said, what's going on? And Frag or Dell, I forget which, said, uh, remember the guy who came in naked yesterday? It's hard to forget. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I said, uh, I said, what about him? He said, he's back in a different chat room talking to another kid. And obviously, he's not going to come back to the house. Now, we've got a production problem because this house is wired. If sure. I leave and somebody else shows up, then we have problems. But we've yeah. you had, you know, 18, 20 guys at this point show up. So I said, set up a meeting at McDonald's or a fast food restaurant. Yeah. You get online, find it. We go there, two crews, big cameras, shotgun mics, and we're sitting in the Suburban waiting. And here he comes, same red truck, in one side. We move in, and I'm thinking, all right, this guy's going to bolt. I better have my question ready. And I asked him when he walked out, the only thing I could think of, which is at that time, I had been in the business for 24 years. I've very seldom been at a loss for words. Mm. But I don't know what to ask you first. <laughs> he said, uh, 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 I'm getting help. I said, but I'm seeing a counselor. I said, well, John, it's not working. Yeah. You know? And um, he faced criminal charges in that case, was caught again <laughs> exposing himself to a young couple at a park. Have you ever caught a woman? Never. This? Never. And... There you go. There you but go. call me a chomo. Number one. Yeah. We're number one, guys. Yeah, this, see? So this is the, this is the wiring, man. The, the, I think you're why right. Is it? It, why is well, it? Why is it? When you, we, I've asked that question many, many times uh, to smarter people than, than me. And what the shrinks tell you is that when it comes to the female predator, you are more likely to see the teacher-student scenario because mm. the female predator does not like the anonymity whereas the male predator in many cases gets off on the anonymity mm. the more yeah. casual encounter now it's happened yeah i mean I, I wrote a book years ago about the whole predator experience and we did have a case where there was an online female predator and it, it it's happened yeah. but it's, it's rare. rare but when you in in our experience and we're talking 400 plus almost 500 guys you yeah. know in and out of there not one female it's There's wild the cool way guys. i mean i don't know if it's it's just the wiring of our drives that is so different we're like men you know put out messages like guys do stuff black guys will love to fuck and fuck good if you're a hot black guy and you want to fuck me at 23.95 I mean, given out his you address move in, you, you know it's like in, but you gotta fuck me. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I need i need to be fucked a lot man that's a guy free food free rent he's giving out free food and rent yeah, like, he's out of his mind yeah he's so hopped not, up that's not woman you know, a woman's never gonna right. do that. Yeah, a woman's that's never not right. no. women are not like that's this. A, that's a fellow with some issues right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just to beat the beat the hell out of the obvious. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but it's crazy. It's on every yeah. level. Yeah. yeah. I mean and who does that? I mean, we got into this we, the, I was in the recording the podcast for for last yeah. week. Uh, the episode's out now. And the guy had sent, uh, first of all, his screen name is Loverman Genius, right? Okay. And he spelled genius wrong. So that, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's good. Right, yeah. So we're recording this, and, and I, I'm going through the notes, and I go back and watch all the videos and immerse myself in it, which is interesting and creepy all at the same time. And the guy had sent pictures of his genitalia to, you know, someone he thought was a 13-year-old girl. God cool. damn. And I'm... And I went off on this whole thing talking about it. I say, like, first of all, in the history of the world, I'm going to predict that no man has ever gotten what he wanted by sending pictures of his junk <laughs> to <laughs> any woman in the world. Yeah. Has that ever worked in any way? I know. It's nothing. I can't, who's going to do that? It's repulsive. Who's Nobody. No. You don't lead with a dick. 
No, you it's don't. It's not do, the profile pic. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, it's like it's so different. Like re, like a man seeing a woman's naked body, it's it is different. I think you know, like for like for you to be like, oh, sweet balls, you know, like it's just it doesn't. <laughs> It doesn't, it doesn't translate. No, I mean, I'm sorry. I just it, it, uh, and I don't think it's sexist. I just think it's reality. Yeah, I think. Yeah, so I too. agree. When they're like, "There's no difference between men and women." Uh, really? Yeah. Because it's a whole lot of things that are different, well, and if you don't recognize it, you're not paying attention. You're not paying attention because uh, most of the killing done in the world, dudes. Okay, yeah. serial killers. How many women? Maybe a couple. Yeah. Eileen, Eileen, War- Eileen Warnos. Eileen yeah. Warnos, yeah. our favorite. And then who else? Uh, there's, they're there's, not many. There's a dozen. Yeah. Okay, a dozen. You know. Yeah. Okay, uh, who's who's showing up on To Catch a Predator? It's right. guys. It's dudes. Yeah. So dudes. something fucking tells me big difference. Now the difference is that guys wow. are just cooler. Guys have <laughs> more cool shit going on. You know, we're just that is a that is a essential difference. There, oh yeah, you may. Yeah, it's it's totally different. It is wild. Uh, you don't see, yeah, you don't see. You know. Now, have you ever had a guy when you caught him? be more obsessed with you like oh that's chris chris jansen what up dude oh snap like more not stoked. quite at that level but we have it i mean <laughs> this week's podcast the guy knew you know i said well you've seen the show then yeah yeah, yeah i've seen the show i said well how do you feel when those guys get caught like you're being caught now he goes well i feel sad for him but you know they're you know blah, 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 blah. Said, those are my brothers man you're the guy <laughs> yeah you're the guy you know yeah. and uh um, you're the star yeah I mean, it's it's. Uh, Have you ever felt real fear in that moment? Because you know, I feel couple like a couple times. Of, yeah, where you're couple like, times. I mean, you're always on edge. Yeah, of course. I mean, in, in, as many times as you do it, and it doesn't matter whether the police are in the next room or a hundred feet away yeah. or who's working my security. It, it it's you know you're paying attention. Well, I thought about it in that you know all of us make mistakes, right? But you are present for what is a lot of people's most critical life mistake. <laughs> like yeah. the moment where they like, I just fucked up my life. You've been there for more of those than anybody. Right. You know? And it's, you know, <laughs> so compelling, I think. Yeah. Because Ugh. we are covering the commission of a felony. Yeah. I mean, in the lesson, the big picture lesson I've always argued of this series for journalism in general is that it it is immersive it is experiential. It is witnessing, you know, news, yeah. crime as it happens, and it's enterprising in a way that you know few things are. And so the lesson is: if you can use technology, if you can use enterprising techniques, whether it's this topic or anything else, mm-hmm. it's important and compelling, and it's hard to do. It's you know. It's, it's a lot goes into it. How long does it take you to go from, you know, decoy set to the guy showing up to the house? It can be 30 days. <laughs> You're like 30 minutes. <laughs> or it can be, we've had it 10 minutes. Oh, we've had a, God. We've had, we've, had, we've, had, God. we've had cases where guys have shown up literally in 10 minutes after first contact. God. Naked. Fast roller. Yeah. Yeah. Six pack. Ready yeah. to go. Yeah. <laughs> that is wild. And walk right in. Walk but right we've, in. to your earlier question, yeah, we've had guys who said, oh, you're Chris Hansen. <laughs> and I said, well, how did you know that? He goes, oh, I watch the show all the time. Great <laughs> show, man. Really yeah, good show. Yeah, when I miss it, I download it from the internet. I said, come on. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hello, and thank you for watching that highlight. Uh, if you want to see more of those, we have them. They're provided for you. So enjoy. Just do a deep dive like you're trying to study us. Click on these and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and then they'll just be delivered to you. You can watch them when they come out. Please do it.